be making basics. All right, y'all. Seven J back again with another video. What we're going to be covering in this particular lecture is how to organize your session. Okay, pretty much everything is already done for you if you properly name the files and stuff like that. But just so you know, we go over that again. We're going to just talk about what you need to do to organize your session. So first things first, if you haven't already, you want to go ahead and save the session, save the new session. How we're going to do that? Go up here to file and we're going to go down to save as we want to give it a new name, all that fun stuff. OK, um, since this is already a beat that I have here, I'm all I'm going to do is just rename it. I'm just going to say uh, the, the beat name. So it's to the max. And I'm going to put a dash and I'm going to say mix next to it. OK, is this there to help me to know what is what? OK, this is the regular. This is the original beat. And then this is the beat that I'm mixing. So I go ahead and do that. It's going to pretty much copy these files, create a brand new session that's going to be saved under this new name. So we're going to wait for this to do that, do its thing or whatever. Um, but that's the first step. Make sure you save your, your session. It's very, 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 very important. All right, y'all. So after everything is saved, all of the cop, you know, the files are copied into a new session and everything like that. The next thing you want to do is you want to categorize your tracks and rename them. OK, just so you can stay organized. And how I do this is when I'm mixing, I want to have my drums at the top and, you know, um, and then my melody on the bottom. Now, you can do a vice versa, but just so you know what's going on, um, that's what you want to do. So I'm going to go over here. I see I have a kick drum here. I'm going to bring that up to the top. Another kick drum. I'm bringing that up to the top. Um, snare, things like snares and claps and stuff like that. We're bringing those up to the top. And pretty much we're just going to kind of categorize everything based on either drums or melody. Just group those things together right here in the project window. This makes it easier to be able to know what you're working with when you start mixing. Um, almost done here. Got the brass. Get this down there. That's a um, effect. The what's effect as well. We got the flutes, guitar. Okay, cool. So we pretty much have everything done here. If I wanted to, just to make it cleaner, I can come over here and make it a little cleaner. Because you know, when we bounced down every or exported everything, it had an extra one after each track. So just to make everything look smoother, I can come over here and delete that extra verbiage at the end of each track, if you will. So I'm going to do that real quick. And from there, I'm going to make, make everything look super smooth and organized. All right. So after everything is organized and kind of grouped together, you got your, you know, drums at the top and your melody at the bottom. You renamed everything here. Last thing to do is to rename everything there. OK, and I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. All you got to do is highlight all the tracks and then I'm going to give you a hot key that you can use. It's going to be shift option and in. And as you can see here, when I put shift option and in the letter in. All the tracks that you see right here, whatever you see named right here is going to go right over here automatically. So it's shift the option key and in. And pretty much that is all we're going to be doing on this. Um, only other thing I would probably do here is see how there's a lot of dead space here. Um, you're going to want to clean that up just so that you don't have like a big long gap after you bounce down everything. So I'm going to take this and we're going to scoop this on over. And I uh, want to give it about, you know, what I'm saying about a bar extra or two. But pretty much that's it. That's how you organize and get everything organized. If you, As you can see, it looks clean and we're ready to go pretty much. All right. So go ahead, do that to your track and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.